guys, it's Shirley. Welcome back to another apartment tour. This one was pretty impromptu. We decided to go look at some places in Fidei just for funsies. I don't know about you, I personally think it's fun to go look at apartments, um, especially with a friend. I just like, like looking at living spaces. I don't know why, like... So we saw a couple units in Fidei. I have another video that's dedicated exclusively to Tribeca and then another video for Hell's Kitchen and West Village. If you haven't already watched those, you can find those here. Um, but yeah, this video is gonna be exclusively for Friday apartments. I'm really curious what you think of all of the apartments, so let me know in the comments. Um, and let's get into it. This is uh, two bedroom, one bath, apartment 3K. She's, okay, okay. she's coming in five minutes. Okay, faces a wall. This is gonna be fixed. Okay. It's what does this face again? It's facing our this is other building as well. Building. The same building? Yeah. Oh. Okay. One bathroom. So this is 54 with two months when it comes to 4629. How much is it 54? It's the gross with two months when it comes to 4629. Okay. Um, do you have anything that's like a little bit l like brighter maybe? I think we both really want something that's like, I know it's a lot on a low floor, but. Okay, so for this first one, um, I actually really liked the layout. The building was okay, but it was just a really dark unit because as you can see the windows directly face another building um and so it was just like i don't know it's i mean view aside like obviously it's not like ideal to be looking straight at another brick wall building but i think aside from that it was just the fact that there was no light date like natural daylight at all whatsoever we were viewing these apartments on kind of an overcast day, but it was also like the brightest time of day that it was going to be. And I just think that like, if it's gonna be like that on an overcast day, it's just, there are a decent amount of overcast days in, in New York. Don't remember exactly what the exposure was on this unit, but whatever it was, it was not enough light. We, I think that one thing that we both agree on is the fact that we both need a lot of natural daylight just it's kind of a non-negotiable for us. For that reason alone, we just had to pass on this unit. Okay, so this yeah, this one here. definitely is a lot brighter already. Okay, this is well, what? This during the morning, it's very bright because it's facing southeast. Yeah, but now we can't see that much. This is facing southeast, okay. Um, it's east, most of what they saw that they were trying to go. <laughs> This is one bathroom. Two bathrooms. Okay. Another bathroom. Okay. Oh. She's here. She's looking for the entrance. Um, so I told her it's off of park. Kitchen's. Dark, but I mean, so it works. Blink of the light is gonna be just the, the apartment doesn't have power right now. Okay. Blink of the light is completely different. And now there's no more. This is okay. This one. So this is basically like one big bedroom. Yeah, basically it's like one bedroom that kind of got put a wall put in. So it was, um, I don't know what it was before because it's a new ownership and we bought the building like recently. They're innovating. So mm -hmm. usually we don't, we don't 
Okay, for this next unit, Sam actually really, really liked this one. I uh, told the leasing agent that we wanted a lot more light, and so she showed us this unit. This unit was definitely a lot better in terms of light. It was also really spacious, actually. Um, the living room, at least, was really spacious. Like The layout was a little strange that the bathrooms were like, so far from the bedrooms, but I mean, it was okay. We could get over that. The exposure was southeast, so... Not ideal, I think the most ideal would probably be Southwest, but Southeast is not bad. Um, obviously there was a lot more light coming into this room, into this unit, and it was it was really quite spacious by Manhattan standards, like the living room was spacious. The bedrooms are definitely really small. I think you could only really fit a bed in there, not a desk, but given how big the living room was, I think, I mean, trade-offs, you could just put everything else in the living room, like your desk and whatever in the living room, and then just have your bedroom be solely dedicated to sleeping in, which is honestly fine. I think it's actually better from a sleep hygiene perspective to only sleep in your room and like not be working in there and have some work life and have some separation from like work and life. Um, so that was fine. It was a little bit weird that like it felt like the bedrooms were kind of like there was just a wall put in between But I mean fine this unit we definitely could have considered there was also laundry on the floor like really close No in-unit laundry, but the laundry was literally on the same floor like a couple doors down So Sam and I were fine with that. I think that Sam just is really familiar with Fida I think she's seen a couple units um, it was kind of really helpful to be like seeing these places with Sam because she already had a pretty good idea of, of what to expect in Fidei. For me, honestly, like I thought this unit was really quite reasonable for the price. Um, I think Sam was just like, she felt like we could potentially find just as good if not better for a slightly better price point or in the same similar price point. But yeah, not a bad unit by any means. What is that? So, this, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't want to throw it in the garbage, probably. Okay, okay. Maybe it's resident. Okay. Just to check the layout. Wait, so is this a bedroom here? So, it's, you see, this is other kind of extra, like a home office. Okay. So that's why I'm saying this is like 5,000 with two months free. It's gonna come. Uh, Forty-two eighty-six. I like the other one. So this is uh, <laughs> this is one bedroom, an office, and one bathroom. It's one bathroom, but you see double sink. Not many apartments. <laughs> this, uh, um, I do see that it's a double sink. Yeah. yeah there's, uh, this is one apartment. I mean, it's an interesting. How much is this one net effective? This third unit that we saw, um, Sam definitely didn't like it as much. I think that I also like thinking back on it. I mean, I don't know who would take the room with like the open glass door. I just think that like, yes, you could put a curtain over it, but I don't know, it just feels weird for a bedroom. Um, also like no windows in that room. So I don't know, it's, it's definitely not ideal. Sam didn't like it as much, not nearly as much. Um, she felt like you could do better at that price point, and so I trust her judgment on that. Yeah. I can't really show you the gym because the leasing agent was like, you can't record if there are people in here, so I mean, fair. Um, the gym was really nothing too special. The gym was kind of underwhelming. The lounge was also it was okay. Um, like I said, we both liked our current buildings better than this building. So, so I think we were a little bit iffy on this building in general. I've been there for two years. Love it. This is the first bedroom. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it's got a very spacious. Uh, there is two bathrooms in this unit. Okay, so this is a bedroom and the closet, I guess, is more like by the door. Yeah, yeah. so my friends who live in, in this unit, they, the person who has the back bedroom uses the, the back closet is there and then they have you know, storage furniture as well. 
and supplement that. This one has an ensuite bathroom? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's like the same bathroom, just ensuite, I guess. What side, what uh, direction? This unit, um, it was a really spacious as well. It was just really, really dark. And I think Sam again was just like, mm, I don't know about this. This is really too dark for me. I think she also really didn't like the finishes in the bathroom in particular, um, which I mean, it's not really my vibe either, but I could have maybe lived with it. I don't think that it was like a deal breaker for me, but um, yeah, I think the other issue with this was like Sam was like, I don't think that the bedroom with the glass is really like a great bedroom because it's not gonna be, there's not gonna be that much privacy. Even if you put like a curtain or something over the door, it's not gonna be very soundproof. Um, and you would just be able to hear everything, which I agree with. I think that like it's, I don't know why there's so many rooms like that in Vidae. I guess it's like meant to be like an office space this unit and the unit that we saw before it was really more of like a one bedroom with an office not really a two bedroom like a two true two bedroom yeah so i think for that reason we were kind of out as well um i did like the kitchen the dishwasher was really really small it was like teeny tiny but there was a ton of counter space it was like a really open living room floor plan and one of the bedrooms was really decent um but yeah, I think Sam again ultimately felt like we could have done better given the price point, so pass on this one as well. So they did just add Peloton bikes, new equipment. Oh, also, Jim in this building, she said that they had just renovated it. It didn't really look that renovated to me if this is what it is now i'm not really sure what it looked like before but um again like the building itself i think sam and i both like our current buildings better so yeah i don't know i don't think any of these apartments that we saw were really it but sometimes it just takes time to find one that you really like <laughs>